guys, how's it going? Uh, we've done a vlog here from the SCP Foods YouTube channel. Uh, today we're out testing one of our ventures um, after park out within hours. We're going to do a draft feed experience. Um, I'm not sure what your hands are. It's, uh, it's a £15 one. Uh, well, £20 now. Uh, I think it's £15 in parcel ones. And yeah, we're just going behind the scenes. There's quite a lot of us touring it. I'm not sure how the video is going to turn out. But uh, yeah, it should be uh, quite cool. Something we've been wanting to do for a while, so finally got it done. So we're just heading through the park, close at 6, it starts at 7 to feed, so it's been an hour before I want to get out of the park, so yeah, let's go and check it out, man. Feed for drinks? Yeah, the VIP experiences are really good. If you're a hotel or an annual pass holiday, you do get 20% uh, off as well, or there is um, like bundles of free you can get for, um, <clears throat> for a slight discounted rate. And sometimes at Christmas as well, um, they may do a sale on reduced uh, price as well. But um, don't forget also to check out the Capybara Feed, Sea Lion Meet and Greet, and also the Owl Meet and Greet we did here at Chester as well. There's lots of animals. Hello. Good evening, guys. Uh, my name's James. I'll be hosting your giraffe feed this evening alongside Emily here. Hello. Um, just a really quick health and safety before we do start. Um, so, for us adults, as you can already see, there are some low line beams, lights, and fans. Um, if you can just mind your head out of those, they are quite easy to bump into if you're not really concentrating where you're going. Um, for us little ones, Please don't step in any of these wooden beams. As you can see, it's not very strong. You don't want anyone falling over for no reason. Um, in terms of the giraffes, I'm afraid we aren't allowed to stroke them. I know it is really tempting. If they rub against you or brush against you, as you can see here, that's perfectly fine. It's just seeing that, they're not sure what your intention is. And uh, we don't want to scare them away. We want to stay over with us. Um, you can take as many photos as you like. Just please no flash. For similar reason, some flash is just going to give them a bit of a shock. There's nothing there. Um, sudden flash is going to give them a bit of a shock. And when you are taking photos, just try not to have your back completely turned to it unless you have got something behind you, just because their spatial awareness is the best. So they might go to turn around and accidentally bump into you. Um, so yeah, if you're standing somewhere like here, if you just give yourself a bit of an angle so you can see them in the corner of your eye, that's all good to go. Um, that is about it for safety. It's quite a nice one. There are two ways to feed this guy. I'll step away, obviously. We'll What's that one's it. name? You can either hold the food out straight but sideways. That's the clean way of doing it, just because they'll grab it there and your hands safe from saliva. If you don't mind getting saliva on you, as you saw, Mojo did just like wrap his tongue around my hand a little bit. If you do want something like that, do feel free to pop it into the palm of your hand and hold it out that way for them. Um, but just know that you, you will get a nice coating of giraffe saliva doing it that way. Okay. So if I start handing out bits of the food, I'll give you a few bits at a time. If you give it to them bit by bit, just that way it's going to last a lot longer for us. Um, just because otherwise they, they will take it in handfuls if they can. If you have any questions or want me or Emily to take any group photos or anything, please do just ask away. Who's this one? So if you guys would mind just going right the way down if you're going to be keto, just because we don't want him stretching over the gate. No worries. Thank you. There you go, no worries. Please come and grab some more. So what is it? What are you actually eating? Um, so I believe this here might be a mixture of willow and I'm not sure what the other type of leaf is. Um, we can grab most leaves just from the area really. Um, they're not too picky about what they eat. They're quite good about it. I'll let you go first. Yeah, if you do it bit by bit, it just means it lasts a little bit longer. Um, otherwise, the bucket's gone before you know it. So on this side right now, this is Tonda that we have with us. <clears throat> we can remember Tonda because Tonda is blonder. And then just next to him, you see he's trying to shove away, is Moja. Moja's our biggest boy. And this is his little party trick. He knows he's the only one tall enough to reach over there. So when Tonda is shoving out of the way, he's the one that can come and grab some still. Do you want me? Maximum of eight people on it. Um, it's out in the reserve in the truck instead. Um, so we got out on the truck. It's just quite nice to get out there with them during the day in the sun. Um, you have the tubes of the feed on the side as well. Um, so they'll come over, eat out of the tubes, and then we'll have a bucket of hand food as well to feed them. Um, yeah, it's just a, a bit of a smaller group, a bit, uh, a bit more nice, nice to get out there. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got his tongue up. How brave are you feeling? 
Have they got teeth? Uh, they've got teeth in the bottom row at the front, but then it's just bow tie. What you do is, if you hold it down by your sides, come and stand next <laughs> to them, and then hold it up, you get quite a nice oh, well, thing. Cool. Directly yeah, next to you. You do so you've, got, you've got nothing to worry about. As you can see, it's as gentle as anything. Hold it down by side, and then go stand down there. Hold it down there, and then hold it across you. No. Do you want to try again? Like so how do you do it? You put it down your shoulder. See, so, yeah, so if you hold it down by your side and then just lift it up across your body to your shoulder. So if you hold it in the other hand, oh yeah, that way works just as well. Oh yeah, he's got it, he's got it. Honestly, you got nothing to worry about. I wouldn't let you go there. So they've got a total of five drafts. Um, but they'll be... This one's well keto over here. Well over time, well, yeah. A mojo. I'm not yeah. too sure on the other lot. So you can imagine a horse behind it, a kick or something. One of these guys yes. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see him running. Yeah. Yeah. Good keto. Yeah. You wouldn't think you're looking at them. So you walk a bit slow. Yeah. 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 Well done. Do you want this bit? Got a little bit more. Anyone else? Slobber, slobber, slobber. Yeah, slobber. 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 Oh, you've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. They do, and it really smells. Yeah. I did hear him birth about five minutes ago. I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Can you just drop it on his tongue? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> So what's this you feed them here? So this is alfalfa, so it's literally just dried out. So you eat about 45 kilos per draft per day. Um, it's all cut from around the park. I'm sure this is probably sent in. But all the fresh stuff is cut yeah. from around the park. So you literally just recycled plants. Yeah, exactly. Especially like around the car parks where it overgrows and stuff. Yeah. And they a bit love, more, or is that? They love sweet fruit okay. as well. So it was Keto's ninth birthday last Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, well, I kind of went. That's all right. There you Thank go. Thank you. <laughs> Major. I think we've got a little bit hands on in regarding uh, the end of the experience there at Draft. Great experience, loved it. Um, basically, there's a bucket, um, there could be up to 15 people, just a little warning, so it can be quite busy. Um, but hopefully, if you book it, you can get a smaller, you know, smaller group, so there's a bit more hands on. Two um, hosts as well, um, guide you through it and answer any questions you may have. There's five drafts in total, um, and yeah, so basically, you get a hand uh, of food, you pull it on your arm like that, and the draft will go over your shoulder. That's the best way to get a picture. Um, and then so you can either take it, you feed it hand to him, or you can uh, let him wrap his tongue around you. <laughs> so that was great fun. So yes, just continuing on. Um, yeah, great experience, really enjoyed it. Again, uh, Merlin annual pass holders, and also, I think Chesterton on annual pass holders, of course, and um, hotel, guests 20, hotel guests get 20% off. Um, they do do sales throughout the year sometimes. Uh, it's around Christmas or January time, so get yourself for looking online for that. Uh, if you want to buy any gifts, this, uh, spirits for yourself or presents. But yeah, really hands on. You weren't allowed to stroke them, but um, if they rub themselves against you, then that's fine. Um, as long as you know, just do it in a well, uh, gentle manner, I'll say, just to not spook them. But check out the other experiences we've done. Owl, meet and greet, see what I meet and greet, Kakabara, now draft. We are looking to do one more before uh, the end of the year for um, an animal feed, so keep an eye out on the channel. Also, look at the turtle feed we've done, see life. The penguin feed we did uh, for burning them and all the other sea life bits of balls we've got on. Oh, we've done loads, I tell you, from, uh, from seeing the spirits behind the tours, uh, private boat tour of Brighton. We've done pretty much a lot over the years, so you're going to check out. Any questions, comment below or email me info at sjb.co.uk. And yeah, see you in the next picture.